Hi everybody and welcome to my video about the formula bar in Excel. In this video I will show you the basics of the formula bar. So please enjoy. So let's take a closer look on the formula bar in Excel. You see the formula bar here. It starts uh, with the name box, the insert function and the part where you can type your function or your text. Um, so I already said it starts with the name box. Uh, this is the place where normally when I select a cell, uh, the address of the cell is shown here in the name box. But why is it a name box? Um, you can give a cell a specific name or a range of cells can also be done. And when I say this is my database, I can type in the name box, database, press enter, and I just made myself a name, which I can view in my name manager you see it here so that's basically the uh, use of the name box i can also go to um, one of my names uh, in a quick way using the name box so when i for example scrolled all the way down and i want to go to my database which i just created i can just uh, click the arrow in my name box and select the database and here i am at my database so that's basically the name box. Um, we also have the insert function. Um, here I can click insert function and um, I can um, look up a function. For example, the sum, I can click OK and it uh, opens a uh, yeah, kind of wizard uh, to um, uh, build my uh, function or my formula. And it uh, just says here what uh, arguments are needed. And it's a nice way to uh, build up a function if you're not so familiar with it. Um, I can also click the, the X to abandon or this one when I'm done. So that's the insert function box. So this is basically the uh, most important part of the formula bar. And here I can just type some text. So for example, I can type hello in this box and you just see hello but um, I can also type a formula in here so I can type is 8 uh, times 7 which is a formula or um, I can uh, put another number here and I can say a function like is sum and I can just add these numbers here and now my formula bar is used to enter a function. Um, so that's all here. You can um, hide or show the formula bar when you uh, don't need it. You can just uh, hide it and it can be done in two ways. Uh, I can say um, the top view in my ribbon and I can uh, uncheck the box uh, in front of formula bar. When I do this, you see my formula bar is hidden. I can uh, get it back by uh, just checking this box formula bar. It can also be done in the options in Excel. For that you go to file and options and by advanced I can go to the display options and I can uncheck show formula bar or check it again. It's the same option like I showed you here before. Um, well, that's the totally um, hiding the formula bar or showing it again. You can also make it bigger or smaller by expanding it or collapsing it. When you uh, drag your mouse over the uh, bottom of the formula bar, you see your mouse becomes a double arrow. When I have that double arrow, I can just drag my formula bar down and up again to get a different size. And um, I can also collapse it again with this little arrow here. And it's again only one line. There's also a short key to uh, expand or collapse the formula bar. And that is the Control shift u key. Well, I can press it now and you will see the formula bar will go to the same height as you chose the last time when you expand it or collapse it. 
again Control shift u and it goes back to only one line so there are the basics on the formula bar which you need to know so thanks for watching this short video about the formula bar uh, i hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you did so please leave a comment and, and don't forget to subscribe to watch all my other videos about excel